Hello, my name is Bill Timmons and I'm with Nine Faculty. One of the most difficult movements to regain in the shoulder girdle is end range elevation or full functional shoulder girdle motion. We can see on this model that with full elevation of the left upper extremity that she has a nice tilting of the scapula in the superior border as evidenced by the spine of the scapula moving posteriorly and demonstrating that movement quite nicely and staying in a nice sagittal plane. On her opposite side, as she comes up into its full elevation, notice that the scapula starts to rotate and now coming out of the sagittal plane. And in fact, as I try and keep her in full sagittal plane, she automatically wants to go out to the side. Now, this may be as a result of tightness within the superior anterior, the serratus anterior superior fibers, or in addition, the upper thoracic spine which we'll, we'll also identify as being quite hypomobile from about T1 down to T3, even T4 on the right. Whereas on the left, as she gets towards full elevation, we can get a sense of nice motion through these segments as they should extend, side bend, and rotate to the end range.